I'm at the house at 4906 Spyglass View in the Oak View Heights subdivision. Going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This will be the condition of the home as of the date of this video, which is January 25th, 2015, about 5 p.m. in the afternoon. This subdivision is in a gated community just off of 1604 and O'Connor. So you have easy access going towards Randolph Air Force Base, I-35, or going towards 281. Let's take a look inside this home. We've got some very nice uh, mature trees here in the front. Two-car garage. The house itself is a three-bedroom, two-bath. Square footage is roughly 2,216 square feet, so quite large for a one-story home. We've got the front porch area here. So you can put some uh, chairs and relax in the afternoon. Do a quick layout here. Uh, right at the entry, we got uh, the living room, dining room combination. Straight ahead, about the middle of the house, is going to be the kitchen eating area. Straight back all the way is going to be the family room. And then to the left, we have, uh, to that doorway, we have two bedrooms and the hall bath. And then back to the far left is going to be the entrance to the uh, masters so we'll take a look inside we got nice neutral colors throughout and nine foot ceilings throughout the house which makes it feel very open so again it's your formal uh, your living room and formal dining room combination here so you put your formal dining table there that's a linen closet very nice open kitchen here recessed lighting very large eating area, so you can put a uh, dining table here for your day-to-day -day eating. You have the French doors on the refrigerator and the, under, uh, the freezer on the bottom. There's your pantry. We have the lots of counter space, kitchen island, dishwasher, dual sinks, and then also stove with the built-in microwave. Very nice open feel. And uh, as I turn a corner here, there we go, let's zoom in on that. Okay, you can see the overhang here that goes all the way around the entire top of this uh, surface. So this would be your breakfast bar. You can put stools all the way around the, that uh, countertop. Let's over to the left where we have the secondary bedrooms. I always call the master's bedroom number one, so when we get to the bedroom, we're going to call that bedroom number two. Before I get there, let's do the um, washer dryer connection area here, this utility room. And I typically don't show the garage, but in this case I will because there's a couple of features I did want to point out. Um, besides the garage door opener, uh, I did notice those white tiles are actually insulation tiles or foam that uh, keeps the uh, temperature in here at a more modest level whether it's very hot outside it'll keep it cooler in here or if it's very cold it'll keep it from getting freezing in the garage um, the other thing I want to show here which you don't commonly have uh, besides the water softener which is a great feature to have you have the built-in sink or the uh, the freestanding sink that is attached to the water so if you like to do some uh, you know projects in the uh, garage uh, makes it easy for you to wash up Okay. So again, I call it masters better number one. So this will be better number two. Get neutral colors, you have blinds. All right next to it is better number three. This is slightly larger. This bedroom is uh, about 12 by 10. And then it has its own walk-in closet. Then we have the hall bath. You have your sink, commode, and your shower uh, tub combination.
Right here we have the very large uh, family room. It's about 18 feet by 12, I'm sorry, 18 feet by about 22 feet. So this is a huge um, space. You get your fire, wood burning fireplace. And then as I turn around here, you can see that um, you can use it breakfast bar, put lots of seating here. I think it's pretty cool to be able to sit up there and eat on that countertop. And again, the view here of the kitchen. So a very large kitchen. Let's head off of the kitchen to the backyard. The backyard itself is 0.2 uh, acres. So actually it's one fifth of an acre. So very large uh, lot. So you can see you have a good sized yard, large patio for barbecues. It kind of doesn't do justice when I'm standing up here, but it is a huge yard. Okay. Then finally, we're going to go to the masters. It's a very good sized master bedroom. You could easily fit a king size bed. I uh, have room for your nightstands and dressers. Get a nice uh, nine foot ceilings here, ceiling fan. Here we have a large walk in closet, about uh, five feet across, but about 14 feet deep. So you should have lots of room to hang your items. And then finally the master uh, bathroom. We have the sink, we have a sitting area, you have your um, linen closet, another sink, another sitting area. Your commode there in the corner with the, with the door. And then we have a very nice uh, stand-up shower and right next to it a jacuzzi jet garden tub. So it's perfect for relaxing after a long day at work. So it's a very nice house, very large floor plan for a single story home, three bedroom, two full bath, 2,216 square feet. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.